Certainly encourage um, the, the, the teammates uh, when they do good plays as well, not just our own, our own children. Give them time to think. Let them make the mistakes. Anybody here perfect? I forgot, I should have asked that first, just in case. Okay. Anybody here not make a mistake today? <laughs> okay, good. Either an honest group or people who've already tuned me out. <laughs> Let the coach do his or her job. This is something that I've also found difficult because just wanting to help my kids or just to give them extra, but that's what we have uh, the coaches there for. Um, and I think sometimes it's very hard to turn our children over, but we can really, we don't want to start dividing our kids. Um, when, if we're, especially if we're going against something, I had an in-law who will remain nameless, uh, who uh, was actually saying, forget what your coach is saying, do this instead. And that, can I imagine, is going to be all sorts of problems on the team. And absolutely, when you do want to be complimenting them and interacting, or if you get a moment at the side or at halftime, talk about their effort. We'll, we'll hit this on one or two other points. But effort is something that they can control. And that's what leads to success in everything. This isn't a low parent, is it? I kind of just took it off the internet. I want to be sure not, somebody's not sitting here. <laughs> I yell at the refs. And I've unfortunately been at a number of games where sometimes they're riding some, uh, like a college kid, uh, really rough or, or, or no matter the age. But even the coaches get yelled at too. Um, what kind of message does that send to your children? Somehow, this sport experience has become ours to the detriment of our children. We really want to be able to get some distance. That's what ends up happening. Parents are yelling, coaches are otherwise, and much like you had said, the, the athlete gets very, uh, can get upset, distracted. You know, as parents, you know, sometimes if we, have, we see coaches that can be negative, um, we somehow allow that or think that that's okay, but we never let a math teacher talk to our children in, in some of those same ways. There's something different about sport, and I wonder why would that be? I really haven't come up with a good answer. We have a lot of reasons that we could kind of explain, but not one that really makes a whole lot of sense other than, again, it's us getting way too involved and owning it and taking that experience away from the students. So students, athletes, am I on track here so far? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you.